Hey guys, my name is Sonali. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this cut crease look on my lid. It was actually my first time doing a cut crease on myself. I was so inspired, so I was like practicing on my arm and I kind of just did what I did on my lids. I don't even know how it happened, but I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. It's kind of like this purple gold smoked out look and I thought it'd be perfect for New Year's Eve. So let's get started. So I've already done my eyebrows and set my lids with some concealer, but I am going to go in with some Max paint pot and laying low and just prime my eyelids a little bit more just because I know my makeup's gonna be on for a very long time so I definitely want it to stay all night long I'm gonna set my eyelids with this setting powder from Derma Blend. So after you let it set for just a little bit, you're just going to wipe it all off. And this just gives the eyeshadow a super even and dry base because when your lids are, you know, wet or damp, then they won't be very easy to blend out. We're going to start off this eye look by using this color Caramel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And we're just going to be buffing that into the crease. This is going to act as our transition color. Next, we're gonna dig into the Dare to Create palette, and I'm gonna take this reddish brown and put that in my crease as well. Next, we're gonna take this deep purple and put it all over our lids. Try not to go too high with the pigment itself because we're gonna be blending it out into the crease anyways. So we want to start lower than usual and take any blending brush and start really, really soft in the corner and blend it out. And I think sometimes my biggest mistake is blending it up, but if you try to stay in the same place the whole time, then it won't get too high up, like too close to your brow. To help blend it out a little bit, I'm going to be going in with these two colors and just buffing that into the crease. So part of me really, really wants to try like cutting my crease, but I know like it's gonna turn out so shitty because I have like hooded eyes, so I don't really know how to do it. I literally have been practicing on my arm, but I just like, I don't know if I should, but I think I'm just gonna like go for it and try. So I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. I'm really nervous. I don't really wanna mess it up, but YOLO. <laughs> I'm just gonna take like a little bit smaller of a brush and try with that first. So I feel like that brush was a little too big for it. This actually isn't turning out that bad. I do really wanna just do like the half by one. New year, new makeup technique. Okay, I'm gonna stop here, so I'm just gonna try to smudge out the edge. I feel like I kinda wanna make it just a tad bit higher too, so it can actually show. I took so long trying to cut the crease. I don't know if it like actually turned out that great, but for my first actual time doing a cut crease, like I don't think it's too bad. So we're gonna move on to the shimmers now. We're gonna be using two different ones. This one is from Micah Beauty in the color Ambiance, and then this one is from ColourPop in the color Boy Band. So as you can see, they're just two like very coppery tone eyeshadows, but this one is a little bit darker. I just got the Max Fix Plus, so I'm gonna be spraying this on the brushes. I'm actually gonna be using the teeny, teeny, tiny one first and putting the lighter color on my inner corner. I think the Max Fix Plus really helps to like carve out the line even more, so I really recommend this. This pigment goes on so smoothly when it's wet, so that's why I wanted to get a little bit more on that brush. I'm just going to carve out my lid again with this lighter color, and then I'm just going to put the darker color on top. Now I'm going to take a little bit bigger of a brush and wet that too. Then I'm just going to place that right here. And I'm going to kind of blend out those two colors to give it a very seamless fade. 
I don't know, I almost like the first color better. I feel like I should just do that color. Maybe I'll just put the darker color like right on my outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with that lighter color and just put that on the middle part of my eyelid as well. I am so excited that I actually got this down. It's not perfect by any means, but I'm still really excited that I'm one step closer. Shout out to my sister for always like pushing me to do like crazy looks like this. I don't normally do crazy looks, so it's hard for me to like actually get inspired or even like think that I can achieve this look. I'm gonna go ahead and start on my face. We're gonna start off with this as a primer. It is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour All Over Miracle Oil. So I'm just gonna be spraying that in my hand. I actually sprayed a lot, but my face needs it today and I really just want to glow like no other because New Year's Eve is the time to do that and every day but especially New Year's Eve. For foundation today we're going to be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation and you're probably going to be seeing this video before I actually do my first impressions just because I really want to edit this and get this up as soon as possible because it's New Year's Eve and that first impressions video is not edited yet so my B. <laughs> I'm actually going to start off by using this brush. I just want to see which one I prefer, the brush or the beauty blender. Um, so this is the Sephora um, Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56. By the way, I am in the shade Syracuse for the foundation. Okay, so my impression of like the brush with this foundation, it obviously is just a little bit streaky. I'm trying to like work through it, but I'm definitely gonna have to like blend it out with my beauty blender um, in a second. But I did like it for under the eyes just because I don't like to like blend out foundation right under the eyes because I'm scared to like mess up my eyeshadow line. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Shape Tape and you can see on my under eyes. Put some on my nose and a little bit on my chin. Next, I want to try out something different. I'm going to be using the Cover FX Drops um, in the color Candlelight. And again, I did do a first impressions on this as well. But today, I want to try it like before I set my face because I think that's what I did last time and it just didn't look as poppin'. So I'm going to take that on my Beauty Blender and hit the high points. That looks so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> this is a game changer for sure. I'm pumped about this product. I'm gonna put a little bit on top of my eyebrows. I don't know how to set my face now because I feel like it was like super close to under my eyes, but we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. Instead of baking my face, I'm going to be taking a fan brush and just like patting it really, really close to under my eyes so it doesn't take away the shine. Just kidding, I switched up the product. I'm gonna be using the Studio Fix in the color NC43. And I have this really cool little brush from Ofra. It is the O2 and I'm just gonna set right under my eyes. I'm also gonna put it like right around my nose. Just anywhere that you know you're gonna crease. I'm gonna be using the Baked Bronzer from Milani and this is in the color Soleil. And I just really wanna give my face a little bit of color because I feel like I'm pretty pale right now. And this will kind of just add to that glow. I'm gonna deepen my contour by using the Sephora um, Matte Perfection Powder Foundation in the color 70 Mocha Java. I'm going to take it and put it on my forehead as well. And I'm going to do my nose while I'm at it too. So we're going to finish up the eyes by doing our lower lash line. We're going to take that purple color from the Dare to Create palette and put that right here. Then just go in and blend that out. 
This look definitely needs some eyeliner, so we're gonna take Sex Kitten from Tarte, and we're gonna do a wing with it. So I put on mascara and I popped on some lashes. And now I'm gonna add a little bit more shine with this Hourglass Ambient Radiant Light. Then I'm just gonna set it with some Max Fix Plus. The last step is lips, so I'm gonna be taking my NYX Cosmetics Liner in Nutmeg. And then I'm just gonna take a nude lipstick. Um, this one is the Dose of Colors in Toast. I definitely thought this was like more brown than peach or like whatever this color is, but we're just gonna go in with toast and then do something else with liner on top of it. I'm gonna try this other NYX liner in the color Urban Cafe. And we're just gonna apply this Fenty lip gloss right on top. So this is the final look. If you saw any product in this video that you guys want to check out, then look in my description box and I will have direct links to all the products. So I will see you guys in 2018. Bye guys!